Hello and welcome to this week's mixtape. And today on the show, I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Alexandra Hainsworth. How are you? I'm good, Mark. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for coming on the show and making the time. I really appreciate it. Your new single, Fighter, is out now. Just before we sort of get into talking about that, I want to just sort of go back a little bit with you and just talk to you a little bit about sort of, you know, what started you off in the music biz and, you know, how you got started and what sort of inspired you to, to sort of start mm-hmm. making music. Yeah, I well, I right from being five years old, I was performing in front of large audiences. I, my my family friends would give me like little bits of pocket money to sing. And, you know, it was it was always there. You know, I was always it couldn't stop me from singing really actually. And I was yeah, I always had an interest in it. And and as as I got older, I was find out ways to have a musical outlet. I actually have qualifications in psychology. But I then diverted into more into my music about seven years ago. And so I went full into, I was doing cover music. Uh, I had a, a pianist and a guitarist and we would go around for weddings and different kind of events. And uh, then I stopped doing that and I started doing my my original, my like really diving into my original music, obviously. And I did my first album. And then from there, I realized that this is something I really want to do. And, and from there, just keep going, going, going. I like experimenting with different genres. And so now we've got a pop rock banger, mm-hmm. which is which is great. Yeah. And it's I'm really excited about Fighter. And that one's out now on Spotify. Yeah. So that was my next question. Where can people hear it? Is it just Spotify or Apple Music? Is it on all the digital streaming platforms? It is. It is on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. All the streaming, what whatever is your your preference, yeah. Right, okay, cool. So just for anyone listening on the podcast or the YouTube channel, there will be a link in the description to take you to Alexandra's website and also to a Spotify page where you can we can stream the tracks. If you are listening on the radio show, then it is alexandrahainsworth.com and you can get on there and you can find all the links and the YouTube the YouTube links and the links to the Spotify and everything else to enjoy Alexander's music. I wanted to talk to you as well. I saw on your website mm-hmm. you've done some audio book work. How did that come about and and so what 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 got you into that? Yeah, well it's a, it's another passion of mine. I mean, I I I do think of myself as a creative in general and I really mm-hmm. do love narration and that storytelling. I did the three audio books as something, as a challenge to myself. And it was a wonderful experience. Chapter 13, The Mountain Stole My Wife and Can You See It are all amazing novellas. And I really, I really just enjoyed the experience. The writer is Victor Paul. He's amazing. And it's, yeah, it's just, it was just a really, really great experience. I really encourage everyone to get onto uh, my website or even on Google and and have a look at those audio books because there are there are great stories yeah yeah and again that will be alexandrahainsworth.com if you want to go and check out those audio audio books so let's talk about the new single Alexandra yes. Fighter what was your sort of tell us a little bit about the song and and lyrically you know what was your inspiration for for this song I was going through a tough time you know and I decided you know what how can I how can I put this in a creative form? <laughs> and, um, so the fighter came to be. Fighter is about being a fighter in your own life, whatever your challenge is and how you want to overcome it. And uh, it really is supposed to drive you up, inspire you to get past whatever it is that you feel is holding you back. And and yeah, and that's, that's how it came to be. I wanted to do something that was uh, a little bit different as well than what I've done previously because I like to experiment with different genres and I was working with a producer in New York who works with with New York bands he's also worked with John Legend and Lennon Stella so that oh, was okay. extremely yeah. exciting so and he but he has this 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 rock lean leaning towards so so we ended up doing yeah the, this pop rock song and yeah I just I'm in love with it. I'm really, really happy with the reception for it as well. It's got over 300,000 streams on Spotify in just over a month. And so the response is just like, yeah, I'm I'm just really, really thankful to all my, my listeners getting in on it. It's it's a fun song and it's it's supposed to motivate you. Yeah, as as we heard just before the, the start of this chat, it's a fantastic track and I'm sure it's something that everyone on KCR will be listening to and enjoying for a good few weeks to come. 
let's talk about your mixtape track choices. So track one of your mixtape, Alexandra, and you know, whenever I make up a mixtape or a playlist or anything like that, I always try and go in with a with an attention grabber and you know something to to kick it off in, in good style. So what did you pick for your track one? Attention grabber is keep your head up, Andy Grant. Mm -hmm. And what, what was it about that track that you feel was like, you know, an attention grammar? What, what does that song mean to you? This one is definitely one of those those feel good songs that you, you can listen to whenever you're, you're feeling a bit down and out. And I think everyone feels that way from time to time. And so this one is this one always catches my attention because I can always just just get back into a positive vibe. And I love the music video as well. It's just I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Yeah, I watched the video for it yesterday. And yeah, it's a really upbeat sort of happy Sort of party vibe video yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a great video that one for sure yeah yeah i've not heard of andy grammar i'm a bit embarrassed to say i've not heard of andy grammar and when i saw how many sort of youtube subscribers he had i was like oh, i probably really should have heard of him um, <laughs> yeah. well, now you have. <laughs> but yeah exactly that's that is the the purpose and the joy of doing the show the mixtape because i get not only do I introduce people to new stuff through through doing a show, but that I get introduced to new stuff as well. Yeah, so fantastic. Exactly. And track two, Alexandra, is uh, a song that you sing when you're on your own in the car or the shower. What did you pick for that? Yes, uh, that is "Life Is a Highway," Rascal Flats, mm. and that's just that's just an awesome pop rock song. It's it's one of those ones that for me it's just like yeah, burst <laughs> burst into chorus, get right yeah. into it. Yeah, it's yeah. I just I can't get enough of that song. That that one goes on repeat for sure. <laughs> I think for me that because I've got an eleven year old son, right? So that's right in the perfect age gap for that song to be so <laughs> deeply ingrained in my head. I, yeah. If I never hear it again, <laughs> oh, I won't. I won't mind. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that definitely wasn't one that I need to look up or or look into because. <laughs> I'm far too familiar, to be honest. I've probably seen the movie about, I'm not even joking or exaggerating, I've seen the movie probably about 50 times. See, yeah. I'm not really familiar with the movie. I just right, love the okay, song. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, so yeah, obviously I'm... for anyone anyone who's not familiar, if you've been living under a rock for the last 20 years, it's from the Cars movie, the Disney yeah. uh, Cars movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you I say. I love the Cars it's... movie, but I'm just, I, I just don't really, like, obviously, like, know much about them but like i don't really know the movie movie mm. like you know i yeah i just i just listen to the song <laughs> yeah no it's it's a shame because it is a great song and it's like for me it's just been overplayed you know and i just like oh not again <laughs> when you're on the radio i'm like Pick, change the channel not oh, no. that one. yeah it's oh, a shame well, well, that. it's a shame cars. but, Thanks for doing but that. at the same time i've got really happy mem <laughs> really happy memories of you know sitting on the couch watching a movie with my son when he was you know yeah. When, he was a, when he was a little toddler and that so yeah 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 it does bring back some good memories uh, for sure okay and track three is your favorite cover version or a cover version what did you pick for that that was let me love you teddy swims mm -hmm. teddy swims is sort of a cover version sort of uh professional i'd say he does he does heaps i think that's yeah. probably where he was first sort of picked up but i think that's the second you're the second person who's picked a teddy swims track yeah, on, on the mixtape. Did you see he was in Perth not that long ago, maybe last year sometime? Did you see him? No, oh, no, I did not. But I started hearing about him through his, funnily enough, not his covers, but his original song, Lose Control. Mm -hmm. And and that for me was just like, oh, wow, breath of fresh air, someone who can really sing. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, I just I just really loved that, that original of his. And then I then found out about his covers. And I've always loved the song Let Me Love You by Mario. And he yeah. just did this really cool version, a very emotional version. I'm all about authentic, you know, interpretations of music. And I feel that's what he does. So that's why I chose that one. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a great track. And I, I when I, when he came up the first time on the mixtape, I had a little bit of a deep dive into his own, his own material. And yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of, of his now. Yeah. I absolutely, absolutely love Teddy Swims. Yeah. Mm. Awesome choice. Awesome choice. And <laughs> track four is a song you wish you could play to your 18 year old self. And what did you pick for that? That would be as it was Harry Styles, because that really just it, it really speaks a lot about growing up and kind of leaving leaving, or at least for me, this is how I interpreted it. That it's you know that life continues on, and you've got to adapt, and you've got to move into your new chapter. And I think for me as an eighteen year old, I would have liked to hear that song because it's like okay, closing one chapter, open a new one. And I just, yeah, I just love the song as well. Like the, mm. the, the song is just, it, it's really, 
it's almost calming like it's just one of these calming songs and that's why i chose that one as well what sort of stuff were you listening to as, as a 19 year old alexandra lots of edm <laughs> lots and lots of edm yeah <laughs> okay cool yeah no worries say no more and track five alexandra is a song you would put on your mixtape to let the listener know that you were romantically interested in them and what did you pick for that one last song sam smith mm -hmm. yeah and he's just another one with just this incredible vocal and this is a really romantic song and he's he's really speaking about someone that he really really cares about and he's saying if you never hear from me again here is my one last song and you know and yeah it's just fantastic it's just really romantic as well <laughs> ordinarily and this is what one of the things I, I talk about a lot with with the mixtape and, and music in general like it for me it's so contextual like listening to a song because two months ago I wouldn't have given that a second listen it wouldn't have been <laughs> you know what I mean it wouldn't yeah. have really sort of done anything for me but I, I had a relationship breakup like about a month ago and now that, that done me when I heard that. I was like, oh, my God, what? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it had such an effect on me. But it's all yeah. about context, I think, with music and, and what you've been through. And, you know, I've, I've spoken a couple of times on the podcast about hearing a song and knowing a song and then having life experiences and, you know, coming yeah. up, uh, looking, at, looking at things from a different perspective and then hearing a song again years later and just getting absolutely destroyed by it. <laughs> so I wouldn't say that, that one didn't quite do that to me, but... Yeah, it, it did. It did sort of, yeah. Have it's a bit of a, it's have extremely a bit of a emotional. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Um, so what I do, um, Andre, on the radio show, obviously I'm dropping the songs in between the chat. But if you're listening again on the podcast uh, or on the YouTube channel, there will be a link in the description to a Spotify playlist with all of Alexandra's choices. So you can, as we're talking, if you want, drop out, listen to the songs that we're talking about. It just gives it so much more context if we're mm. you know we're talking about the songs and you can hear what we're talking about. And why about. it was chosen. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah, 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 exactly right. And finally, Alexandra, track six is mm. something a bit left field or a little bit obscure, B-side or album track. And what did you pick for that? Well, you also asked you also asked me previously what needed more kudos. And yes. that was that yes. was what informed like this song for me because I I it's fairly well known. But it's it definitely needs more kudos, and that is that's free by Pete Murray. Mm -hmm. It's an, it's another one that has an amazing music video. I think if I'm not wrong, it was filmed in Brazil, and it was it's just got this yeah well this freeing effect. I find like I, it's one of these ones that you know you can listen to it and you're like yeah I want to be free. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of those. Isn't it? He convinces you of of what he's saying, and uh, it's just a great song. I, I, yeah, I yeah. really um. Gravitate. When I, I looked that up on on YouTube again and every comment was like, why isn't he more famous? Why isn't this song more popular? <laughs> like it was exactly that. Like everyone was echoing like exactly exactly what you're saying there. Fantastic <laughs> choice. And again, what I've started doing, Alexandra, for anyone who's listening, I always give it a plug. If you go to the mixtapepodcast.com, you will find a link to six Spotify playlists and there will be all the track one choices on one playlist, all the track two choices so for the previous 50-odd guests or so, there's all the tracks that they've picked for track one, track two, track three, track four, track five. And track six is, is easily my favourite playlist because it's, it's wild. There's just all sorts of <laughs> mad so awesome, stuff on, yeah. that, on that playlist. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's definitely my, my, my favourite one to listen to. Future plans, Alexandra, what have you got coming up for the, for the rest of 2024, mate? Well, I um, I am an author as well, so mm -hmm. I am actually going to have a book out. I've got a co-write with with Victor Paul, actually, the one mm -hmm. I was doing the yeah. um, the audio books with, and our book Kingdom of Flight is going to be coming out later in the year, and that is a dystopian. It's a futuristic story based in the year five thousand, and yeah, it's just it's really awesome. Like I'm so excited about that. Apart from that. Uh, of course, music, and uh, I might be coming out with an EDM next, or it might be a, a complete opposite of that, just a nice uh, ballad, emotional ballad. So yeah, I'm um, just uh, full steam ahead for different creative things. So people, you, you can check out what I'm doing on Instagram and on Spotify. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, my Instagram's alexandra.hainsworth, or you can check out my Spotify, Alexandra Hainsworth. And yeah, it's just, there's a, I'm, I'm doing a lot of things right now. And I just got to see which one to do first, I guess. <laughs> uh, yes. 
you got to prioritise. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I'm spinning many plates at the same time myself as well. Alexandra, thanks so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate your time. As you mentioned, it's alexandrahainsworth.com for all the links to the socials, the Spotify, the audio books, the books, the music, the YouTube, everything else. Good luck with everything, Alexandra. And I really appreciate Thank coming you. on the show. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.